So good morning. Today I'd like to go into a little bit more of hand speed. Now, a lot of time when I talk about hand speed, I'm talking about uh, men mentally. So, for example, if I'm doing, say, four punches at it. Oh, okay, let's start with two. One, two. One, two. If I do four, I'm not going one, two, three, four. I'm going one, two. It's a two count. Now, what a lot of people don't realize when it comes to striking is they often will throw a strike and then they don't use that strike to build on to the next. They may use it to set up for another strike, but they don't use it to chain together. And what I mean by this is, for example, let's say I throw a back front, I pull back, and then I go for a hook. You see how I went from here and then I broke what I was doing? So, for example, in this technique, this combination, this is how it would work. It would be a downward strike to the thigh, so if you can get me in the image, it would be here. So, I go one, two, three. And that's just as fast, pretty much, as that. But what I'm doing is I'm building on to it. So if I were to do that back jab, it would immediately be an elbow and then an uppercut. Because I'm using, I'm, I'm carrying that kinetic force and I'm channeling it, even as I'm expressing it outward. I don't like that people do this kind of... Because... It breaks the momentum and that's really important to, de to develop power in a strike it, you don't want to go here and then have to bring it back so that you can then fire from another side what you would want to do is here 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 it's carrying the momentum and that's what the goal should be and this picks up the speed of the strikes because instead of me having to go one, two, three, sorry, one, two, three, I'm going one, two, three. It's much faster. And this is just one variation of it. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and give the video a like.